This shot, for example, you got me sitting here, but now if I wanted to, and look at that, and now you have this dope, creative shot and depth of field. Just, oh, and this is just straight out of camera. Tell me that ain't boss. Rack focus in the game is like crazy. <laughs> Hey, thank you. Okay, today's in today's episode of vlog, we are talking about gear. And I look, I know we have not talked about drip in a while, but I went to Atlanta and it was one piece of gear that I use that just blows my mind. Like, I'm not even gonna joke. So we we gotta talk about drip today. Oh, and now, quick side note, I know that I'm on this like no sugar kick, but yeah, I gotta get a caramel frappuccino. <laughs> and now the specific piece of drip that I wanna talk about, you probably already know from the title, but it has to be the pocket three. Cause not for nothing, I I am just baffled by this thing. Like I'm not even joking. This the pocket three is sauce. We got about seven minutes for this ferry to get here, so I'm gonna put this camera away because yes, it is raining like crazy. <laughs> Okay, made it into the office and I, man, I am, I am extremely soaked. It's, <laughs> okay, first off, there is a really good reason why the Pocket 3 is always sold out. <laughs> and now real quick, before I get into the Pocket 3, cause I got a lot of good things to say about it. I gotta give a huge shout out to today's vlog episode sponsor, which is TSG Adventure Pin. Thank you so much for the super thanks. You, man, you already know you are a ninja boss. Hey. If you happen to want to sponsor one of the episodes, there's a link down below to buy me a coffee or a super thanks is appreciated. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause y'all know I ain't a hater, even when I'm working. Let's get back into this pocket three. I mean, so I was in Atlanta a couple of weeks back and I did a bunch of filming, a bunch of filming with the pocket three. And if you've watched that series, that whole Atlanta series, you will notice that I use the pocket three a lot in the vlogs, as well as in getting a bunch of B-roll shots of the car. And I just, I'm like, I'm like shocked at how good this camera looks and how good it is. I mean, it just has so much potential, not just in like the vlogging space, but also in just, in just places that you would use an action camera. I found that it's better to use the Pocket 3. And now look, I am not saying that this could replace an action camera. I'm just saying for me personally, for the things that I was doing, I preferred. Yeah, if I'm not skiing, I prefer the pocket three. I'm just, look, I'm just super saying. Which was crazy because I even said right before the trip, right after I bought another DJI Osmo Action 4, that I was thinking about buying another pocket three and not even gonna lie, I should have bought another pocket three. <laughs> I mean, perfect example, the shots that I shot, like the B-roll shots that I shot of the car, for example, then I also played around with the focus too as well, like doing continuous focus versus having a single focus on. And the shots were just, the shots were just boss. I mean, it legit got to a point where every time I was thinking about using the Action 4, I, I would pick up the Pocket 3. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, look at these shots. Look at this shot mounted on the car. Look at the shots that I have in the car. And it's so easy. You could just literally just grab it and go. So you can go from an in the car shot to just grab in the pocket and just go ahead and go into vlog mode. Like, boss. Something else I noticed is that the pocket just handles all types of the day. Like no matter the lighting, no matter the situation, it just exposes everything so good. Like, I, I don't know how to explain this, but it looks better than a cell phone. Looks better than, it exposes better than some of my mirrorless cameras. I mean, I could get it that well, but it, I don't know, it just brings up the shadows S so good. Something else to note too is the tracking works. Like it just, oh man, I'm just like, 
they DJI did such a good job with this thing like oh and not to mention it integrates with my like bigger camera footage like like smooth a lot of people don't even know that I'm using the pocket like I use the pocket every time I'm here it's always the pocket three <laughs> and also the pocket three is just one of those cameras that get it kind of makes you just want to get out and use and like vlog and film like it is like seriously it is it is just it is a good camera i mean yeah i do wish i do wish it was a bit wider but for the most part i hate to say this but yeah it's pretty much perfect that's it though um y'all want some blueberries <laughs> come on y'all know i got you take as many as you want and now while i was in atlanta though i did make sure that i had certain like accessories for the Pocket 3 that all just made it work. First one being this gimbal cover. Now I'm not lying, I just picked this up off Amazon. I think I picked it up for like three, uh, maybe seven bucks, something like that. I know it was really cheap, it was under $10, but it came and it works like a glove. Something else that helped a lot during the visit and shooting with the Pocket 3 in Atlanta was the base. Now, I lost the original thick base. I went, I went ahead and just searched it up online on Amazon and found a much smaller base that oh, it just works and was perfect for getting shots because what I noticed is since the Pocket 3 is kind of long, these bases that the base that it came with is a bit thick, which makes it a little bit longer, which makes it kind of like sway around. So I'm so happy that I found this small thin base for it and it works amazingly well and it's built really well too it also has a usb type c port right on the back so you can plug it in it's literally just like the original that comes with it except for half the size uh, this is so and now something else that i ended up copying too was another battery handle just in case which which is strange because i didn't end up using it that much i i did use it a lot for the travel channel but i did not end up using it a lot for the vlogs which is um uh, which is a bit strange so i was actually a little surprised at how well the battery holds up and now i did use a couple of other things like i bought a clamp and also i bought a car mount too as well and those helped out drastically but just for the day to day i found that these accessories work so well with everything that i did along with the obviously the tripod that i spoke about before that i lost and i bought another one <laughs> i mean just hands down the pocket 3 has been the biggest release that i've seen in a long long time like it is just unreal how good this thing really is there are like cons for the pocket 3 but not big enough like some of the cons has to do like i would say a con is it's not rugged enough but like it's not meant for that you know what i mean so all the cons that i found with this camera it's not really it's not really it's just not that type of camera so i feel like that's not really a con but yeah every everything just works everything works the audio straight out of camera works extremely well the bluetooth mic with the mic twos work and just again i'm i'm just blown away by the pocket and look i've had all the pocket cameras but i am just blown away by this one just what an amazing amazing piece of drip damn it is raining like crazy what is going on it's raining so hard. I didn't know what that noise was. That that noise is the rain. <laughs> Okay, just finished up lunch, and now I think uh, I'm gonna finish up a bit of work. I don't have a thank goodness. I don't have like other meetings. I had a meeting earlier, but I mean it was quick. So yeah, just gonna finish up a little bit of work, and then uh, then we can head back to Harlem, and we can. Maybe talk some more about the Pocket 3. Oh, wait, side note, side note. Did y'all like those blueberries? Y'all want some more? You want some more? <laughs> nah, sorry, I ate them all. <laughs> my bad, my bad.
Okay, back in Harlem, and it is sunny like crazy in Harlem. I dipped out of Amsterdam as soon as it stopped raining. <laughs> like, it was not sunny over there at all. <laughs> Man, I think I spoke way too soon because, man, it is, it it looked like it's about to start raining, <laughs> like for real, <laughs> and it's getting windy. Uh, there, there it goes. <laughs> Looks like I left Amsterdam just in time for it to start raining in Harlem. <laughs> so we gonna post up over here for just just a minute because I I think there's gonna be some heavy ones. <laughs> Yeah, just back on this Pocket 3, man. So the Pocket cameras, just in general, they were all really good. They they kind of, I would say DJI missed with the Pocket 2. Like, not for nothing, they, it was not, ooh, that's sun, there's the sun coming out. The Pocket 2 was not that great. I'm not gonna lie, it was good, but there was something off about it, like about the colors and about the image quality. It was just something off. The Pocket 1, outperformed it to me. And now it wasn't by much, but it definitely was, I would say the Pocket 1 was, yeah, it was better. It was better than the Pocket 2. But then the Pocket 3 came along and just killed it. Like killed both of them. But the amazing thing about these cameras had to be the fact that you could get such amazing quality out of them. Like, and I'm talking like, like you could shoot a short film with the Pocket One, which I've, I've done, I've, taught, I've shot two short, I shot people reels with the Pocket One. And now if I had to choose a con, cause I was thinking about it, if I had to choose a con, if someone put a gun to my head and say, yo, you gotta pick something. <laughs> I think a good con for this camera would literally be when you turn on the microphone, like let's just say you turn on the DJI Mic 2 and it connects, that message is up there for a long time. All those little notification messages, they are up on they are up on the screen way too long. Now that's just me, but I think that's annoying. Everything else, all the other cons that I could semi think of, like it being waterproof, that would have been great. But that's not what it's for. This is not an action camera. I'm just being real. It's just not. I mean, it ain't gonna be waterproof. The Sony ZV E1 ain't gonna be waterproof. The Sony ZV1 ain't gonna be waterproof. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> like these are point and shoot cameras, but they play such an, like they are so good. Though at least with the Pocket, the Pocket can play an action camera really well. And I mean this in a way of like, without being rugged, without being waterproof, you can get these shots that you would see shot in movies. You could get them seamlessly with with the Pocket 3 and one person. Like, not, I mean, not that one person is you. <laughs> like, it is insane how these, how good these shots look. And I think it's the little things, being able to like rack focus or focus on a single target or even track your subjects and all that stuff. And along with the gimbal, I think it just makes it work. It makes, it just works. And it works extremely well. Cause man, I am telling you, I regret not using it enough. Like I've used it so much on that Atlanta trip, like for the vlogs as well as the travel channel and as well as the car show. I've used it so much to get these dope shots. And I just wish I used it more instead of, instead of using the DJI Action Force for even the interview portion and the talking head stuff, I wish, I wish I would've used the Pocket 3s. I mean, there was even a day that was extremely hot in Atlanta, and this was the day I chose to shoot for the Travel Channel, because remember, I shoot for the Travel Channel with the Pocket cameras as well. That's how I got into the whole Pocket game in the beginning. But besides the point, I shot, and I'm not even joking, I've shot maybe close to five hours worth of footage. No joke, not one overheating, not crazy hot, nothing. And to top it all off, I was shooting 4K 60. 4K 60 the whole time. And not one time that I have a single overheat, light overheat warning, nothing. I mean, and I'm dead serious, nothing. Oh no, I just got a severe wind warning on my phone. <laughs> Jesus, wind, man. Oh man, y'all see what I'm talking about? It was, jet when I got to Harlem, it was sunny like crazy. Like it was, it was beautiful. You know what, overall, man, I just gotta say this, uh, again, I was just shocked. I keep, I like forget how good 
this camera is like like i just i don't know but i just i just wasn't expecting the shots to look that good especially the action shots with the on the car i just wasn't expecting it to look that good that's why i didn't get as many as i wanted i got a couple but i could have gotten so much more and i didn't because i was like oh, i should use the action cam no i was right to use the pocket three <laughs> and you know what honestly i can wholeheartedly see why this camera is almost sold out everywhere <laughs> like i totally get it like for real totally get it <laughs> And now with all that said though, I have to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on the Pocket 3? And also, let me know a con, one con that you could really think of of the Pocket 3. And like, for real, share it in the comments down below so that I know. I had a couple before, but then I think they just kind of don't make any sense. <laughs> like, like, they just never made sense. So yeah, I would love to know your thoughts below. Sorry if it is wind, like it is crazy windy. So. I apologize if you hear the wind. But yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> Finish work, then head home, put the kids to bed. But yeah, I do think, ooh, I almost slipped. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think that the Pocket 3 was probably the biggest camera release in like the last, I would say the last three or four years. Not even joking. I think other than that, it was the Canon R5, and the Sony ZV-1, uh, no, the Sony A7S 3 those were the biggest before, but I think a pocket, a DJI pocket camera took over that and just killed it because it's the best vlogging camera and it's the best like travel camera. It's just, it is just that good. Woo! Who's <laughs> getting me, the wind's getting me. <laughs> Woo, man, but yeah, that is it. Again, I would love to know your thoughts down below on the pocket three it is getting dark and the wind is picking up <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get back to work uh yeah like i'm a scrap i'll see you later <laughs>